And now your first alert forecast with Steve Cannon. I want to show you a couple of contrasting pictures. This is Kenzie Butte, and if you look real closely, some of that green starting to turn brown as we inch a little bit closer to the official start of summertime. But you get on top of Malad Hill, boy, there's not a cloud in the sky. Lots of green still lingering around the neighborhood. And Pocatello's live Farm Bureau sky cam shows a temperature of 83 degrees. Some high, wispy clouds. We do have a breeze in the neighborhood, but other area temperatures are equally mild from 70 in Island Park and Pinedale, 72 in Jackson, 78 in Montpelier, 80s up and down the Snake River corridor, 80s as well in both Chalice and Salmon. Arco's at 82. But what a nasty day to be down in the Gulf Coast region, off into the Carolinas, then into the High Plains. Ugh, not, it's going to be a long night. But our area is relatively dry, except for a little shower activity between Montana and Wyoming. That's in response to a weak front that's blowing through the area. The key word, however, there is blowing through the area. There you can see the front and the associated cold air with it. Now that's going to kick up a really breezy day tomorrow, but not much in the way of shower activity. Here we go with just some light showers early in the afternoon. By six o'clock, the higher elevation has its share, and then again down toward Malad. Thir or Wednesday, no, not so much into the Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, Oh, a little bit of something tries to blow into the central mountains, tries to get into some of the valley locations, particularly in the southern and eastern highlands of our area. But by and large, we're not expecting much tonight. With fair skies cooling off, that dry air is going to cool things into the 30s in Stanley. We'll see 40s elsewhere. But tomorrow, another day of 70s to mid 80s, not counting Stanley's 71. But the decreasing winds of tonight with overnight lows in the upper 40s to mid 50s are going to give way to very breezy conditions tomorrow. High temperatures in the 80s pretty much across the board for the southern Snake River Plains. Overnight tonight for the upper Snake River Valley, again some cool dry air will dip overnight lows into the mid 40s to the mid 40s, he enunciated correctly. But tomorrow, a breezy day, highs approaching 80 degrees most everywhere, 78 at Rigby. Tonight for the upper Snake River Highlands, 34 in West Yellowstone. 40 degrees for Island Park, but look at tomorrow, 70s across the board. And there is that slim chance of an Island Park, West Yellowstone, Driggs, or Jackson shower tomorrow. Higher elevation temperatures, 39 at Pinedale, that's southeastern Idaho, western Wyoming. Highs tomorrow in the 70s to low 80s, but yes, it will be a breezy day tomorrow. How breezy? We're expecting sustained winds at between 20 and 25 miles an hour, gusts considerably higher, but not much in the way of shower activity for anywhere around the neighborhood. Look at that drop in temperatures from Friday to Saturday for the southern Snake River Plain. Same thing holds true in Blackfoot, but not much in the way of shower activity. You get into the upper Snake River Plains, however, we start to pick up a threat of some showers by Friday. That's when that uh, front blows by and literally cools things off. Watch out for those gusty winds tomorrow. There is a chance of an upper valley shower come next Monday as well. Rexburg is going to see some highs right around 70 degrees as we get into Saturday and Sunday. And some upper 30s for overnight lows, particularly between Thursday and Friday night with that threat of a Friday and Monday shower. And as we go into the higher elevations, yep, breezy day tomorrow, another breezy day Friday and Saturday. A bit better chance of showers, however, in the higher elevations. Now, Brent Belknap was flying back into the Idaho Falls area and happened to snap this picture of the Twin Butte, where the transmitter facility for our station is located, out there at the uh, airplane window. It's not a... Uh, perspective that you get very often of our transmitter facility, but uh, Brent, thank you kindly for that Spirit of Idaho picture and sending it our way. You can do likewise if you have a Spirit of Idaho picture. Send it to scannon at kidk.com. We'll record it in the archives and put it on the air. Yeah. Hello, Brent. Yeah. Hello, Brent. That's yeah. A, nice of him to remember us. You bet. You know, flat, flat out there and then just these bumps. Yep. Just, that's it. Yep. Interesting shot.